Hey guys, it's Chris from Tech Takedown, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you some hidden tricks on an application I'm sure you are all familiar with, known as Snapchat. Now, as you can see, I'm doing this on my iPod Touch, but the first two hidden tricks I will be showing you will work on any device that has Snapchat. I'm going to open Snapchat, and the first hidden trick I'm going to show you is how to draw with the colors black and white with the drawing feature. As you can see, there's a variety of colors to choose from, but if you ever just wanted the simple black or white, it doesn't seem to be in there. To get either of those colors or plenty of other colors, it is really easy. All you're going to do is place your hand over the color palette, and then you're going to slide all the way over to the left to get the color white. It is very similar to get the color black, you're going to hold down on the color palette, go all the way over to the left, and then all the way down. You can now draw using black or white, or use brighter and darker shades of other colors. Next I'm going to be showing you some hidden effects you can have on your images. After you have taken a picture, if you type the caption capital B, the AND symbol, lowercase w, and three periods, it will change the image to be black and white. From there you can either leave the caption as B and W, change it, or take it away altogether and it will still remain black and white. Another effect is sepia, simply by typing the word sepia with three periods at the end, it will change the image to the effect. And last but not least is my personal favorite. If you type the word negative with a capital N and three periods at the end, it will change the image to have the cool negative effect. You can then send the image off to your friends and they'll wonder how you did it. And the last trick I'm going to be showing you is how to screenshot somebody's Snapchat without it sending them a notification. Now I'm sure this will work with any Apple device, but I'm unsure about other devices, so if you are not doing this on an Apple device, you'll have to try it out for yourself. Also this trick is working on version 5.0.0 for Snapchat. If you're not sure what version of Snapchat you have, just go check in the App Store. If you're watching this video and Snapchat is no longer version 5.0.1, this trick may no longer work, but still give it to try. To give you guys an example of what would happen if I tried to screenshot somebody else's Snapchat, I already took a picture and I'm going to send it to myself. When I receive the Snapchat, I open it and I screenshot it. For those of you who do not know how to do that on an Apple device, it is just pressing the home and power button at the same time. I was able to take a total of three screenshots, but you can see once I reload the page, the normal delivered text changes to screenshot and a three in parentheses. So now I'm going to show you a simple way to take a screenshot of a Snapchat without that happening. So once again, I've taken a picture and I'm going to send it to myself, but this time when you open the Snapchat, you're going to hold down your finger as usual, then you're going to take a screenshot holding both the power and home button at the same time, but right after the screenshot has been taken, you're going to remove your finger off the home button and continue to hold the screen as well as the power button until time runs out. So you can see I hold the screen, take the snapshot, but never remove my finger off the power button, only the home button. Once the time is up, you can let go of the power button, and once you reload the screen, you will see that the original delivered text has simply changed to open. So that is how you take a screenshot in Snapchat without the other person knowing. If you go into the Photos application, you'll be able to see it. And guys, it's been Chris from Tech Takedown. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.